Margaret Hennessy. Thank you, Chair. <clears throat> Dear Chairman Schwartner and members of the Texas Health and Human Services Committee, my name is Margaret Hennessy and I'm here to testify against SB 415 on behalf of NARAL Pro-Choice Texas, which is a member of the Trust Respect Access Coalition. Most importantly, I'm here on behalf of all absent women, families, and doctors across the state whose lives will be negatively impacted by this bill. First and foremost, I'd like to point out to everyone that this bill is full of false, medically inaccurate, ideological language designed to further stigmatize and shame women receiving abortion care. It's an outright ban on the safest abortion method for some patients. In order to obtain care that is not banned by this bill, women would be forced to undergo an initial invasive and unnecessary medical procedure, even against the medical judgment of their physician. Senate Bill 415 is not designed to protect women's health and will have the result of harming women in Texas. A vote in favor of this bill is a vote against women's health. Second, the precedent set forth by the Supreme Court of the United States upholds this as it places an undue burden, upholds this as un unconstitutional as it places an undue burden on the right to abortion. Women already face significant and costly obstacles to access abortion care in Texas. By banning this procedure, you're placing hefty costs on women as the alternatives are much more expensive. Moreover, it will disproportionately affect low-income women of color. A vote in favor of this bill is a vote against women's economic empowerment and constitutional rights. Finally, considering Texas has the highest maternal mortality rate in the United States, a rate so high that it is even comparable to rates in countries where abortion is illegal, I have to ask, how would this bill do anything but further increase that rate? The American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists have warned that SB 415 would take decision making away from women and their doctors. It criminalizes physicians who perform a procedure that in many cases is necessary to protect a woman's health and future fertility. SB 415 inserts itself into the exam room by putting physicians in the unconscionable position of having to deny a woman the evidence-based compassionate care that results in the fewest complications. I want to remind you all, especially the doctors on this committee, that a vote for this bill puts women's you, lives Hennessey. on the line. I urge done. you all to stop playing with reproductive health care as if it's your own political puppet. Thank you. Thank you. Your time is done. Y'all are excused, thank you.